the, the significant event is that um, I've been researching the life and times of Charles Manson because a guy called Tom O'Neill wrote a book called Chaos in which he alleged that Jolly West had programmed the Manson family or, or it was put to me that that was what was said. And I went and read this thing and sort of went, this, this isn't a Jolly West I knew. So I went on a, a show with Eric Hunley, who'd told me about this, and, you know, had gone through what O'Neill says. And, and he, his conclusion is pretty much that all he can prove is that Charles Manson and Jolly West both walked the corridors of the Hate ashbury Free Clinic. End of story. I sort of went, oh, I really don't want to write about Charles Manson. Mm -hmm. Who wants to write about Charles Manson? Horrible mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, why doesn't Tom O'Neill mention that, Scient that, that Charles Manson spent 14 months studying Scientology? Oh. He doesn't mention it at all. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So um, I thought, oh, maybe, maybe I better read, read Jeff Gwynn's book. So I read that. And, and he's got a paragraph where he says he studied Scientology. And I looked in the, and, and he reckons it's because he did the Dale Carnegie course that he got to, mm -hmm. to manipulate mm -hmm. people. He actually dropped out of the Dale Carnegie course, I later found. But I looked in the bibliography of Gwynne's book, going, oh, I wonder what he knows about Scientology. And the bibliography said, what is Scientology? You know, the big PR handout book. And that was right. it. So it was this, oh, people think that it's a faith. People, you know, and they come and go. They don't realize it's the most elaborate system of mind control, thought reform ever devised. 